Could Banjo-Kazooie be finally returning at E3 2019? Let's discuss it! How's it going everyone? Blue Knight here, and I'm back with another video about a series that I've never recovered before, and that's Banjo-Kazooie. Yes, I quickly talked about it in my last video, but I'm going to discuss the recent hints in today's video. The hints that's been popping up faster than something over the course of a few days, all pointing to a possible reveal at E3 2019 since the start of June. Outside of the Totaku and first four figures, Banjo-Kazooie figures, we got this tweet from IGN featuring the remaster we all want, meaning Banjo-Kazooie, if it wasn't any more obvious. Now, the moment IGN starts talking about remasters and such, like with Spyro, you gotta start wondering. It doesn't end there though, as Exquisite Gaming revealed a teaser for a Banjo-Kazooie controller holder in response to a E3 2019 tweet, who I believe are the ones behind the Crash and Spyro controller holders. Shortly afterward, they responded to a tweet that was a response to their Banjo-Kazooie teaser about merchandise teasing Sonic Mania, Crash, Spyro, so on and so forth, and the Exquisite Gaming tweeted this in response. We couldn't possibly say. Now this is almost directly a tease in itself. I'm aware of a Banjo-Kazooie Stubbins has been out for a while, but Stubbins will be at E3, and guess what is their promo focus? The iconic bear and bird yet again. Then, Tinderbox, while I'm assuming will be at E3, or might be something unrelated, notice that all the names and studios are currently active, except the odd one out. You guessed it, more Banjo-Kazooie. Noticing a pattern that's similar to Spyro yet? Then, a recent era of men by the name of Shinobi, who leaked Smash characters before and other things, said this, Been a while since we saw Banjo in anything. Hope we're in for a smashing good time. Now this term, smashing good time, was used by other of men's teasing Smash characters. So in a way, this could mean Banjo-Kazooie for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's very likely at this point. To add on to that, I heard that Nintendo and Xbox have a good relationship with each other. So that's even more likely than before. Another thing I should bring up is, Smash Bros. usually focuses on current and active franchises and then features those characters. While Banjo-Kazooie hasn't had any activity since Nuts and Bolts in 2008. Yes, I like that game, but it will be much better with more platforming and the abilities of the originals. Anyway, since Banjo-Kazooie hasn't had any activity in years to even be considered for Smash, then that would mean a new title is on the way to bring the series back into relevancy. But, that would mean it would either be a remaster or an actual new installment after Nuts and Bolts called banjo Free. -E. I'm leaning more toward new installment considering that Rare basically wasn't exactly for remastering or remaking their games. But, that's not even all of the hints. I discussed some of them just to give you guys an idea of how many there are. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below by Canadian Guy A, who covers even more hints and clues in some more detail. Keep in mind that everything I just said in today's video is not 100% fact of a remake or new game happening. It's just the possibilities of banjo Free -E or Banjo-Kazooie in Smash is very likely to be revealed at E3 2019, which is less than a week away. So guys, that's about all I really got to say for this video. If I left anything out at all, which I'm sure I did, be sure to let me know in the comment section below along with your thoughts on this. And once again everyone, thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. I've been Blue Knight, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Goodbye!